Hi folks, welcome back to another one of our short videos. Gonna take you around another 110 that we've just completed today. This customer specifically asked me to shoot a video and put it on a YouTube because he wanted to see his own Defender on there. So that's what we're gonna do for him. So this Defender came to us, it's had a few modifications. It's had some soundproofing work and a double din, reverse camera. Um, what we've done is we have, first of all, added some of our more popular upgrades, like for example, the D44 front bumper, which we absolutely love. That's why we do so many of them. And that's with the Laser Triple R 750 um, lights. Now the Gen 2s actually, Triple R Gen 2s. So that's a brand new product. We've got the KBX front end on there, which you know really makes the front end pop. I think you'll have to agree, it's great. We've done clear LED indicators and side lights, and we've done the LED truck lights. So really refresh the front end. We've also put the high for the matching high force um, vents on, which makes a really big difference, as I'm sure you'd agree. Um, and the side vent to match. Then the rest of the work we've done really is inside. So again, when the customer dropped it off, he said it had been soundproofed. He said he didn't know how much had been done. We said probably not much. And in fact, it had had some soundproofing work done on the floor using Dynamite Extreme, which is a great product. So it had a little bit there on the floor. It had the rear wheel arches done, but that was pretty much it. So we've completely stripped it down to a bone and we've done everything. The three layer soundproofing in the door, so the back of the door card, the back of the frame, the inside of the um, door skin. And we now drop the whole regulator system out of here to get better access. We've done heated mirrors, so nice tidy job there. You know, virtually no sign of a cable tool. This is the only place you can see the cable when we do our heated mirrors. So it's pretty tidy. Everywhere else it's totally hidden. And now we're activated with a heated front screen. Kept the existing seats. This car had no carpets, not in the front. So we've added the complete carpet set all the way over the gearbox tunnel. Obviously we've gone over all of the soundproofing in here again um, with foam and a double layer of skins. We've gone over the gearbox tunnel three times, three layers on there. We've done the seat box. We've added the high rise cubby to match the seat. So this is black with contrast stitching. And of course we've got black with black or ebony, ebony, whatever you want to call it. We've done the dual USBs. Um, this had a double din conversion, which had actually been done pretty neatly. So, you know, it's all fitted in there very nicely. The only thing with it was the hedge unit was fitted in the wrong position. So it sat about 10 mil further back. So we've added, we've, we've changed the hedge unit. We've put the later Pioneer, but it's currently a 9200. Gives you wireless, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, etc. And it's also had the half cut rear panel, which is nice to see. Um, it had a rear work light. Um, fitted with a nice OEM button, but that only worked from ignition, which the customer didn't like because you've got to have, obviously have your ignition on and use work light, which is not ideal. So we've rewired all of that. And when we were in there, we tidied it up as well. Um, what else have we done? We've added premium audio. So that's the Focal ES100Ks. It's the Focal 4-inch mid-range. It's the four-channel amplifier, the JL Audio four-channel amp. That's bridged on the output to drive the subwoofer. And in this case, Customer's gone for the uprated 8 inch subwoofer. We do that as a free upgrade, incidentally. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to remove, but it's a free upgrade. So if anybody wants a little bit more base, you can have a CP108 instead of a CP106. No extra cost in a 110 because it sits under the back seat. Obviously, we've soundproofed absolutely everything here, including the rear doors. Been right the way through the whole thing. Um, we soundproofed all of this because this had no soundproofing in it whatsoever. There's the existing rear work light. Oh, the camera. So the camera was originally located underneath here which is a bit of a waste of time because you get a, a you know, terrible sort of um, perspective on when, when you're reversing. So he asked us to move it and we'd put it up here where we, we'd normally install the camera. That was a little freebie. Uh, we've added NAS rear lights, so clear NAS rear lights. Inside, yeah, I mean, soundproofed absolutely everything. Soundproofed everything behind here and all the backs of those panels. Soundproofed and insulated the whole roof, which we would always do. Um, refitted all of these carpets. So we had to take all these carpets out um, to, to put more soundproofing in there because one layer of Dynamo Extreme won't cut it over a wheel arch. So we've gone over that again in skins and we've then gone over it in foam. We've trimmed all the extra little bits and we've added the stainless steel finishes, which we love. They just finished the job off. These are the new brushed ones, which we're really fond of. And of course, there's all the customer's original bits and pieces, which we'll return to him. So there you go. Uh, quick overview of a 110 we just completed this would be coming a, a bit of a thing for us because it's almost not a standard upgrade package but it's kind of got our, our fingerprint on it i guess you'd say so there you go another 110 on its way out the door we've got another one behind and more coming we're um inundated with them at the moment it's currently um 
late October and we're now booking for January so we've got no more bookings left this year I'm afraid so there you go hopefully you've enjoyed that video if you have don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we post lots of defender videos and lots of other videos as well thanks for watching